Hello everyone, my name is Jyoti Agarwal and I am the teacher trainer in BankQ India. We are back with the second video in the series of onboarding videos for BankQ Board Master Series RM03A. In this video, we are going to cover the floating tool of the board. Today, we are going to see the functions of floating tool. But what is the floating tool? Floating tool is an annotation tool that lets you annotate anywhere, anytime on the screen of the board. Now let me tell you the ways in which you can access this floating tool. First from the pen icon, second from the sidebar and third by two finger touch by making a victory sign or a simple V anywhere on the screen. This can be removed from the screen. To do the same, all you need to do is to open the settings option of EZRite 6 whiteboard. This we have the setting options and from here we can simply disable the shortcut icon of floating tool. Also one thing I wanted to highlight is that the tool can be used on any input source, be it a VGA, HDMI or Type-C. Let me take you through the features that comes under the floating tool. Going clockwise, first we have the pen icon followed by highlighter, laser pointer, eraser, toolbox, recording, screenshot and the pointing tool. Let me explain the usage of these tools with an example. For this, I will be using a couple of worksheets here. Let's see the first one. It's a maths PDF related to the shapes and now we are going to use this pen tool to do the annotation thing to note here is you get the options of five preset colors and rest five can be chosen from the color wheel you can also choose the thickness of the pen from the four preset Thicknesses. Similar to the pen, the next tool is the highlighter. Now we are going to use this second worksheet which I have and we'll click on this highlighter option. That's how we can highlight the text on the PDF. So this highlighter also comes with multiple color options and different thickness options. The next tool is the finger following laser pointer which helps the teacher to draw attention of the students on a particular part of the content. Like this. The next tool is the eraser. We can use this tool in three different ways. Firstly, using your palm to erase the content like this second strike off on the top of the content to erase and third option is to erase all next we have the gamification tools which includes the calculator this can be used for calculation whenever is needed just like this Then here we have a timer tool. Suppose you want to give some time to students for a task. Here we can set the timer at this timer tool and can minimize this also. So now I'm going to set a time here. Approximately 30 seconds. and start the timer. This way we even can minimize the timer. Next we have stopwatch, scoreboard and the last option which we have here is the draw. Let's consider one more scenario where as a teacher you want to select few students randomly between a range of roll number. In those cases 
we can use this draw option. Suppose for a particular activity, I want to select three students. So I'll click on number three and here I have to select the range of roll number. So I will select from one to 20 and then simply we'll click on the start button. This will randomly pick three roll numbers between the range of one to 20 roll numbers. This is a very useful tool in case if you are looking for some volunteers, so you can use this to pick few out of all. The next icon is for the video recording of the board. What this means is that if I turn it on, the board will automatically start recording the activities being done on it. The best usage of this feature is when there is a child who is absent. With this tool, you can record the entire lecture, both the voice and the activities being done on the screen and the same can be shared with the absent child. Let me show you this to you with an example. First, let's turn it on. Say there is an image that you want to explain to the class. You can annotate on the same with the pen tool. After the explanation or the class is over, you can stop the recording by pressing the same recording icon again. The video will be saved in MP4 format on the board automatically. When stopped, it will show you the path where file is saved and its file name which is given as per current date and time. Now it is very easy to share it across. Great feature, isn't it? The next icon is the screenshot icon. This helps you to take screenshot anywhere on any content. For example, let's search on the web, the political map of India. Click for screenshot. Now, if I have to take screenshot of only the image, then I will just frame it and adjust a little bit to crop the area. So there are few icons here which represent full screen selection of screenshot or adjustable selections. EZ Write icon will import the cropped area to writing board software directly. And Save icon will save the screenshot at your desired location. There is another way of selecting specific area by just making a frame with both hands after clicking the screenshot option. That's all about the floating tool. Hope you like this video. Stay tuned with us for more videos. Thank you.